My name is Rita from Anglia School of Motoring, West Bromwich, West Midlands. I am now going to show you how to check your car oil. This is an essential task and should be done at least once a week. Without proper level of oil, your engine is put under unwanted stress and can become severely damaged. Driving even for one minute without oil can seriously damage the engine. Park the car on a level surface. To get the most accurate reading, your car should be cold or at least has been standing for a while, so the oil has had time to settle. Your car manual will tell you what type of oil you require. Most cars use either 5030 or 1030. Pull the bonnet catch, which you can find by the driver's side in the car. Open the bonnet up, make sure that it's secure. Find the oil dipstick, which is usually a bright color stick and is located in the center of the engine. Pull the dipstick out. Wipe it with a paper towel. And note that there's a minimum marker there and a maximum marker. Now we're going to put the dipstick back in again and then pull it out again. And we're going to find out how much oil there is actually in this car. So here we go. And as you can see, it's actually below the required amount so it does actually need an oil top up okay so we're going to do that now now that we've established that the engine is low on oil because it's below the maximum marker we're going to actually top it up and we do that by unscrewing this cap here which is marked with the word engine oil and i shall use a funnel to do this job because i don't really want to spill the oil all over the engine Okay, so I've got the funnel in place and I'm going to top it up with oil. Um, I can see that this oil is a 1040 and earlier on I said that most cars use 5030 or 1030. So this is why it's really important that you check your car manual to find out what type of oil your car requires. We're going to add a little bit at a time because we don't want to overfill it. It's important that you don't have too much oil as well as not enough. Okay, so I'm just going to add a little bit, let it settle, a bit difficult with this funnel, but okay, I think that should do for now, and I'm just going to check the dipstick again now to see if it's reached the maximum level, if not we can add a bit more. I'm just going to check the oil level again by pulling the dipstick out, wiping it, put it back in. Pull it out and I can see that the oil level is just up to the maximum marker which is actually quite right. I knew that I needed about a cup full of oil in my engine but you might need to do this several times and keep checking it until you reach that maximum marker. Do remember though that if your oil is too dark it's time for an oil change. Look after your car and it will look after you. Happy motoring and thank you for watching. Anglia, you've got the drive, we've got the know-how.